My mom, when she grew up in Peru, it was like a very lawless time, very corrupt time. So she has like a very loose, laissez-faire relationship with the law and rules. And, and that made me very nervous because I grew up in Canada like a gringa pussy, you know? Big fan of law and order. <laughs> when we were kids, it was Halloween and she forgot to get us a pumpkin. And, you know, I immediately regretted it as soon as I said it, but I was like, mom, you forgot to get us a pumpkin. And we were in the car And so the woman slowed the car down in front of a house in the neighborhood that had pumpkins and was like, yes, he got, get out and grab one. I didn't want to do it, but I'm afraid of my mother. Present tense, it's still a problem for me. (laughs) So I jumped out of a moving vehicle and I stole a pumpkin that belonged to a little boy. How do I know it belonged to a little boy? Because we made eye contact as he watched me from his bedroom window crying. (laughs) Around this time, I was like 10 and my sister was eight and we uh, belonged to this Jewish golf club because we grew up rough. (laughs) And um, you had to be like 13 to be in or around the pool. Not a problem for my mom. She was like, perfect, here are your new fake IDs. No, I'm just kidding. No, she didn't give us fake IDs, but she was like, here are your new birthdays, fake birthdays memorize your new birthday. I was like, what? I like, I was a terrible liar. I thought we weren't supposed to lie. It was all very confusing. It made me very nervous. So the whole way to the golf club, I'm just like memorizing my fake birthday, rehearsing my fake birthday. You know, I know someone's going to ask me. We get there. I get in the pool. I start swimming. I pull up to the side and uh, this shadow is cast over me. And it's just one of these busybody ladies. She's like, sweetheart, sweetheart, how old are you? All my rehearsing out the window. I was like, I'm a Holocaust survivor. (laughs) (laughs) She left me alone. 